All right, what's up, what's up, what's up? It's your boy, Fadisa Case Love. All right, I want to say good luck, good luck to the Caps tonight. Face off against the Ottawa Senators. So, so it's going to celebrate John Carlson's career game tonight. So, do a ceremony. And um, also say good luck to the Nats. They were going to play Phillies. Uh, DC uh, Defenders. Used to red uh, Roughnecks. And the Wizards played the Toronto Raptors night in Toronto. So, a lot to be... Um, say to today man so good luck to everybody who's playing today and so it's your boy finally takes love make sure you join some cats at the outside with some tv another milestone for the cats man so it's your boy finally takes love let's rock the red at least the first go caps go dc sports yeah Everyone, Mike Vogel here for WashingtonCaps.com with today's rinkside update. Presented by MedStar Health, joined by Caps right wing Tom Wilson as the Caps get ready to take on the Ottawa Senators tonight at Capital One Arena. And Tom, pretty important stretch here coming up, obviously, with six games remaining in the season. Uh, seems like job one for you guys is probably to try to rev up the offense, particularly at five on five. What, what goes into that tonight against the Ottawa Senators? Yeah, I mean, I think... You know, coming home, big game. We got to come out with a lot of energy and high rate of execution. Um, the gut times we need to simplify our game a little bit. Obviously, Carolina was a tough one, but at times, you know, throughout the Pittsburgh game before that, we were playing really well. So, staying consistent. You know, understanding what part of the game we're in, and whether we need to get pucks in or make plays, and um, you know, just executing at a at a higher rate tonight at home uh, with an, an energetic building will be will be big. As you alluded to, uh, Friday night in Carolina was a tough pill to swallow. Uh, you guys obviously were swarmed quite a bit by their four check, which happens to a lot of teams. But I thought you guys did a really good job of when that did happen, at least keeping them to the outside, as evidenced by the fact that this, you know, despite the volume of shots, they only managed the one goal at at five on five. I'm guessing that's that's a part of your game you'd like to keep over these last six. Yeah, I mean they threw everything to the net. Um, you know, we played hard. We we, we defended uh, when we could and. Um, you know, coming into a, every team plays different. Coming into tonight, it's got to be about us. We got to dictate the play. We got to be confident in our group and just get back to what was making us successful. You know, throughout the month of the beginning of March, and um, you know, I think we have a bit of a bitter taste in our in our mouth after the, how the last one ended. We got to use that energy coming into tonight, and we got to make sure that we're dialed in. Every guy in the lineup is just ready to go and uh, ready to make plays, ready to play hard, and and just take this demand this demand this win. Thanks to Tom Wilson for spending some time with us on today's Rinkside Update. Good luck against the Senators tonight. Mon chum. Salut mon chum. Congrats on a thousand games, man. One thousand games. Wow, unbelievable. I'm so happy that I got to be there for the beginning of the ride. Can you please uh, tell everybody what we're up to right now? Just gonna go grab some lunch, some sushi, and uh, we gotta wait for our chum, Jay Beagle. All right. The chums kind of started in Hershey. Uh, Matthew Pro and Francois Bouchard, two French guys that we had, we spent a ton of time with them. Perry, do you have anything to say to the people? En français, maybe? En français, bonjour. Hello. They would come in every morning and they'd say, they'd say, bonjour, mon chum. So, hello, my friend, pretty much, right? And so that just became a thing where everybody, we'd always just say, what's up, mon chum? Everyone started noticing that and then they started just calling us all the chums. There was four of us, then Holtz was, was there, and then Eric Fair was there, Jay Beagle was there. It was just kind of a funny thing uh, Matthew Perot kind of came up with. It was, uh, I don't know, a fun way to keep a group together, I guess. We would spend so much time together, and so then it just became a thing where we, we just look out for each other, right? It was rule number one. Like an actual rule in the chum group was never let a chum behind, right? We would have to make sure we all left the rink at the same time to get on the bus at the same time. If, if one of them wasn't on the bus, you'd get off right away and you'd run and f figure out where they were to make sure they were there. We'd always have to hold the door for each other, you know? You'd open the door, you'd walk through, you'd say thank you, then you'd stand there and hold it while someone else is holding. Sometimes four people were hold holding the door for you as you're walking through. We had a list of like 50 different rules that you had to follow and then we'd have to remember them. And if you ever screwed up a rule, you were, you were a bad chum that day. Hey, chum! Anybody who wanted to hang out with the chums could hang out with the chums. You just weren't allowed to be a chum. A little clicky at times. And we'd have like a stupid handshake too, like where you'd, you'd grab the forearm and yeah, it was, it was just a whole thing. <laughs> it, was, it was a weird thing. We still, still call each other chums every now and then, but it was cool to be a part of something like that. Hey Carly, congrats on a thousand games. 
It was a pleasure being around you for the early part of your career. We made some great memories. Congrats, Carly. 1,000 NHL games, it's quite an accomplishment. And uh, to do it with one hockey club just speaks to the character and the type of player that you are. You're one of the best. You've, you've been an incredible player and an incredible teammate um, for so long. Thank you for, for letting me be a part of it since our, our Hershey days together. You know, you deserve this uh, as much as anyone.